You're very welcome to our vocal therapy workshop with Cathy McGlynn. I'm Kieran Connolly, a volunteer in the Dublin branch, and I'd like to introduce Paula Gilmore, the CEO of the Parkinson's Association. It is lovely to be here again. Um, we had a great time yesterday. So today we have uh, Cathy McGlynn. Now, many of you know Cathy and uh, she will deliver a fabulous session. So I'm really excited about it. Today's session with Cathy is, is, um, is, is really so important and it's so important for us to um, come together and sing and do voice exercises because it's also good for our mental health. It's also good for anxiety and depression. And I know lots of people are struggling. And um, this session today, voice therapy, it really is a wonderful way of enhancing your voice volume. It strengthens your muscles, responsible for swallowing and breathing. And it also um, does lift your mental health. So enjoy, sit back for the next hour, shake your shoes off and just enjoy. Thank you. Thanks Paula. I'd like to introduce Cathy McGlynn. Cathy is a community musician, performer and a stage school director. She's been working as a vocal coach and singing instructor with the Limerick-based Parkin Songs since 2017. Cathy uses singing techniques including vocal warm-ups, breath work and rhythm exercises to improve physiological and psychological well-being for people with Parkinson's. Over to you Cathy, thanks. I could talk for an hour about the benefits of singing for loads of the symptoms that we associate with Parkinson's disease. Um, but instead of talking about it, I'm going to show you how it works. Um, but those of you who would, have, who would have issues around things like respiration and phonation and how we produce sound and things like amplification, singing is wonderful for all of those things. Um, but also uh, one of the things we do in our sessions um, is we, we try to incorporate movement and rhythm as well with singing. Um, so that helps with some of our physical things like uh, problems with gait and rigidity and all that sort of thing. So there are multiple benefits. Um, but most importantly, Paula highlighted their uh, mental health. And I think particularly since this pandemic uh, has uh, reigned since a, a year ago, we moved our sessions, which we do every week. We moved them onto Zoom, uh, not thinking it could particularly work, but somehow it has worked. So we have this lovely group that's mostly based in Limerick. And, uh, and we have two sessions per week of uh, voice therapy and singing, and it's been, it's been really wonderful. So I just want to explain to you what happens when you sing on Zoom, because you're going to be singing. Um, so you might see this as a negative or a positive thing. Uh, so you can't be heard because you're muted. So for a lot of people, that's great because we're so shy about singing in our culture. Uh, so you're great. You can sing as loud as you can and you won't be heard. Uh, so it means, though, that we can sing together. So we won't get the effect of singing in a group. So that's that's the downside. Um, but I want you to feel free to just let it all go today. Uh, so I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. Uh, so you know what to expect, because some of it might seem a bit silly, a bit weird. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you to go with me and just have fun with it. So I'm going to start with a very gentle physical warm up. Uh, and then we will uh, move on to just a few breathing techniques because our breathing really supports everything vocally. So we move then from breathing to some spoken exercises. So one of the things that's great when we sing for Parkinson's is moving from the speaking voice to the singing voice. Uh, and sort of developing that. So we'll do spoken word, then we'll do a little, we'll do some singing exercises on the keyboard. So I'm sitting beside a piano here, which you'll, you'll see in a minute. Hold on, we're gonna try and adjust the screen. And uh, we'll do a few vocal keyboard exercises and tongue twisters and things. And then hopefully we'll get to do a couple of songs. So in my normal sessions, um, towards the end of our hour, we sing a few songs together and we have to be muted, but um, often we take requests and we do songs that everybody knows. Um, but uh, I normally share lyrics for that so everyone can read the lyrics, but I'm not gonna do that today. I want to keep things simple. So I'm gonna do a couple of songs with you that I, I assume everyone will know the lyrics to, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so let us start. So the first thing I'll say to you all is I urge you to do I'm not a physical therapist, nor am I a speech therapist. I'm a community musician. So I'm going to say to you, do what's comfortable. Don't push yourself with anything that I do. You know your own limits, okay? So when we do a very gentle physical warm-up, I say stand if you can. If that's not working for you, absolutely fine. You can do all of these sitting down as well, okay? I'm going to start by standing. So if you can do that for me. 
And I would suggest it was, as Kieran had on his slide there, and he's right, uh, a water break is good, especially with some of the, uh, the shouting we'll be doing in a little bit. So if you could have a glass of water to hand, you don't need to get it straight away. Uh, I would advise you to do that. Okay, so when we're singing, the first thing we do is we check our posture. Uh, so the way we do that is, I tell everybody in my group just to say to yourself the word grow. So grow and just grow that body. And when we grow, our head gets taller, so we get a bit taller, and our shoulders stay down, okay? Just say it to yourself again, grow. And keep loose at the knees if you're standing, okay? So we don't wanna go rigid at our knees, we don't wanna lock them, we wanna stay a bit loose. All right, and I want you to imagine a line of energy is drawing up through the center of your body, it's coming right up. And if you can, we've all got a bit of extra hair at the moment, or at least some of us do. <laughs> For months of no haircuts, I want you to grab a bit of hair at the top of your head. Yeah. And I want you to pull that head up. Imagine a line coming to the center of your body. And just say no with the head like this. No. So I'm going to check in with you throughout the session. You can leave the hair go now, but keep tall, stay tall. And I'll get you to check your posture throughout the session. Okay. So now we're going to greet the room. So I want you to look at your screen. And now I may be filling your screen. But imagine there's somebody beside you, somebody, some of you have people with you, or else look at who's beside you on the screen. So first of all, look forward, and I want you to go, ah, as if you're saying hello, as if you've met someone you haven't met in ages, ah, now you're going to say hello to the person to your right, which on my screen is Paula, ah, and then the other side, ah, we start warming up the voice and body, okay, let's go to our fingers. So we're going to get our hands moving. Rub your hands. We're so used to hand washing. We're so good at it now. <laughs> and let's wiggle the fingers. And I want you to imagine you're playing the piano. So let's go from side to side and back again. Can you feel the four corners of your screen? Each corner. Yeah. Good. Cross them. And then bring your fists up to the side of your face. Okay. And we're going to start opening these facial muscles. So I want you to scrunch everything up and keep your fists scrunch, 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 and then <gasps> wide open like this. <gasps> yeah, and scrunch again. And wide open. Very good. And now I want you to give your face a good massage. So feel where it feels good and loosen all this. We want to not have a locked jaw here. We want to be lovely and loose and relaxed. Okay. And now we're going to do a wake up slap. So for those of you who still haven't fully woken up, although it's a bit late, but anyway, <laughs> no judgment. We're going to slap up our arm and get the circulation moving. And underneath, and the other arm, and underneath, and down the torso, do a little Tarzan move here. And down we go, down the body. If you can go down one leg and back up, and the other leg, and back up. Now we're going to have a bit of a shower. Okay, so this is a sonic shower. So before we do it, I want you to say shh, like rushing water, like the shower coming down in you. Shh. Okay, now we're going to do a five second shower. So you're going to wash yourself in five seconds, as much of your body as you want, but we're going to say shh with it. Ready? And shh. And again, shh. Good. When we get out of the shower, we brush our teeth. Okay, so hold your toothbrush. And we're going to make a sound with each of these things. So we're going to go. Now we're going to rinse. Now you're going to gargle. And now you're going to spit. And then you're going to clean your teeth with your tongue. All this sound making and humming is really good for warming up those vocal cords. Okay, we're going to do it again. And this time when we gargle, we're going to gargle the tune of Twinkle Twinkle. Okay, so let's go. And rinse. We're going to gargle Twinkle Twinkle. Spit and clean your teeth with your tongue. Off you go. 
Mm. I warned you, you'd feel silly. So, okay, let's keep moving and have fun with this. So let's do a few neck stretches. The first thing I want you to do very gently is if you think of your first name, and if, I want you to write left to right as you would. So imagine there's a pencil on your nose, and I want you to write your name in attached writing, left to right, just like this, just to get the neck muscles moving. Okay, very good. And come back to center. And we're just gonna gently go side to side with our neck. So you're gonna just go up first. So say that grow to yourself, grow. So up and then gently over to one side with your neck and just hold it for a second. Do what's comfortable, remember? And back up, we come to center, grow again, up we go, and then over to the other side. Excellent. And back we come and scrunch the shoulders up to the ears and down and up again and down. Now we're going to rotate the shoulders like this, but we're going to do a big sound with it. If you can roll your oars good, if you can't, that's okay. And you're going to say, rotate the shoulders rotate the shoulders again, rotate the shoulders. And now you're going to reverse and you're going to say reverse, reverse the shoulders, reverse the shoulders, reverse the shoulders. Good. And we're going to go on to breathing techniques now, but we're just going to do a King's speech moment. So we're going to clap our hands together and shake everything out like this. Uh, one more time, clap. Uh, okay so you should feel nicely warmed up and a bit looser now and we're going to just work on keeping this relaxed and stand tall or sit tall if you can okay so we're going to move on to a few of our breathing techniques um and i suppose the breath everything we do with the breath gives so much support to everything vocally up here okay so we use the breathing techniques that we use for singing and all that's related to the diaphragm muscles down here so what i want you to do is just put your hands on your tummy and i want you to just cough <coughs> do it again <coughs> do you feel the bounce the bounce in your diaphragm there do it one more time <coughs> that's where you want your breath to be but normally we do all our breathing up here we go <gasps> and that keeps it shallow but if we breathe from down here it gives us much more support do one more cough for me <coughs> Let's do a uh, ha, hey ha, let's do a big laugh, ha 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 do it again, ha 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 and that's making you work without even trying on these muscles down here. Okay, so I want you to imagine that you're having a big bowl of spaghetti and that you're slurping up a big long piece of spaghetti like this, and then it's really hot so you go pa, 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 pa. Let's slurp it up again. And. Okay, great. Hands back here. So whenever we do our breathing, I, um, I ask everyone, I ask all the participants, if you can this or this or even this, so that you can feel your rib cage expanding and your tummy expanding as you're breathing, okay? Um, I don't want you to worry too much about this because this takes a bit of work over time. We're just going to give it a go today and see how we get on. So just close your eyes a minute, wherever you are, standing or sitting, and I want you to feel where your breath is in your body. Just feel it. It might be near your throat. You might feel it in your chest, or you might feel it down lower. And I don't want you to push anything. I'm just going to do this gently. So imagine the breath is getting lower and lower down towards your tummy area where your diaphragm muscles are. So I want you to try and breathe into there. And when we do that, when we take a breath, our stomach muscles, our diaphragm muscles move out when we inhale. So just want you to try that. Okay, so at the count of three, we're just going to take a little breath. One, two, three. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, let's breathe in again and try and do it slightly longer. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, so I'm going to get you to visualize this. I want you to imagine you're holding a balloon and we're going to inflate the balloon. So that goes, join your fingers like this if you can. And we're going to inflate the balloon and it's going to come out like this. And when we exhale, it comes back in. 
the idea is this really helps if you can visualize what's happening with your diaphragm muscles down here, uh, it makes it easier. Okay, so we're going to give this a go. And a great thing to do if anyone ever asks you to take a deep breath is get rid of your breath first. You've, you've way more power that way. So we're going to blow out and get rid of our breath and breathe in. And you're going to hiss out. So it's hard for me on Zoom to judge when everyone's breath has run out, okay? So if it, when it runs out, it runs out, and that's absolutely fine. We're going to go again, so get rid of your breath. <sighs> Breathe in. So what I'm going to get you to do is when we do breathing techniques, it's great if you add movement to them, just like we did there. It just gives you more power and control. So we're, we're, we're going to do four breaths, four long inhales and exhales. The first one, our hands are going to go out. And then we're going to bring them back to our heart. We're going to draw the energy back into our heart. Then they go to the front and back in. And then they go up high and back in, and then we go down, we bend our knees if you're standing, and come back to here, okay? So a breath each time. So you're gonna go out to the side first, ready? So get rid of your breath to start. <sighs> Inhale and go out. And I'm going to shorten my exhales in case you're running out. We're going to go out front, inhale, and so then we're going to go up high and. And then we're going to go down. Okay, everybody's doing beautifully. You're all matching me. So well done so far. Okay, so we're now supported with our breathing. So I'm going to move on to some spoken exercises. Um, and we play with sound here in different ways of making sound. OK, so let's start with a big, by the way, so a lot of you are standing, which is brilliant. If you need to sit at any point, all this can be done uh, seated as well. OK, so whatever works for you, you do what's comfortable. So we're going to do a big sigh. Sigh it all out. Make it a happy sigh. Let's go again and bigger. Okay, we're going to switch it around. We're going to do a big monster laugh like this. Can we try that? Okay, now I'm going to do a witch's laugh. This is changes where we're making our sound. So we're going to go. Do that for me. And then we're going to quote from the Wizard of Oz. I'll get you, my pretty as witch-like as you can. I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> okay, so now I want you to imagine that you are uh, an eccentric conductor. We've just been doing this one the last week or two in, in my own group. Okay, and you've got an orchestra in front of you. So I want you to imagine an orchestra that you're conducting, okay, but you're quite temperamental and you don't like what they're doing. So you want them to be louder. So you say to them, forte. Okay, you're also Italian. Forte! Now you want it even louder. Più forte! And you want even more. Molto forte! And then loud as you can. Fortissimo! Okay, we're going to do that again. Forte! 
forte, dramatic as you can. Più forte, more, molto forte. Now loud and big as you can, fortissimo. Good, okay. So we'll change our energy a bit now. So we're going to do a bit of, we're going to do some work around oars. So as I said, if you can roll your oars, great. But not everybody can, and that's absolutely fine. So say, really rhubarb. You're going to say each of these after me. Okay, so I'll say it, and then you say it after me. Let's try that again. Really rhubarb. Really red rhubarb. Really red, righteous rhubarb. Even longer. Really red, righteous renaissance rhubarb. Really red, righteous renaissance rhubarb. We're going to do that last one again really quickly. Really red, righteous renaissance rhubarb. Respect. Okay, try that one more time. Really red, righteous renaissance rhubarb respect okay good all right so i'm going to do a few siren sounds with you let's just all practice humming a siren for a minute uh, this will happen in your wherever is comfortable in your register you might start down low or you might say comfortable higher okay so let's just practice one Follow my finger here. If you use your finger, this would be great. So we're going to move our finger up as we go up with the sound, and then we're going to come down as we come down with the sound. Okay? So this is great for things like um, amplification. So let's go. And for warming up your vocal cords. Good. Let's go again. I want you to put a ghost sound in it like this, like a quiver. You're going to go. One more time. Okay, and we're going to throw a frisbee into four corners of the room. So imagine you have a frisbee in your hand. Pick a corner. So I'm going to go to my right first. So that might work for you. Okay, and we're going to go. Woo! And with my other hand, I'm going to throw it the other side. Woo! And I'm going to do the two back corners. Woo! And the other one. Woo! Okay. So there we go. So uh, now we're ready for just to go to the keyboard. So we're going to keep going with this um, siren sound. So what I'm doing here is. So uh, I'm trying to position this so you can see me and the keyboard, but that's not going to work. You're just going to be, you'll be able to hear it. Uh, so what we're going to do is, and if you like, sit down now, if you'd like to take a little bit of a break. And sometimes after that, uh, uh, doing those spoken word exercises, your throat might feel a little bit dry. That's okay. So grab a bit of water. Okay. So just sticking with that siren idea. So we're going to say the word sunshine moon. Can you say that for me? Sunshine moon. And we're going to put some notes on them like this. Sunshine moon. Okay, so we try that together. Sunshine moon. And then what we do is we go up. Sunshine moon. Sunshine moon. Now you're used to it, so I'm going to stick a siren sound in there. So we're going to go back. Sunshine, moon, but we're going to do this. Sunshine, moon. You hear that? Sunshine, moon. Okay, so I want you to make that scoopy siren sound if you can. Sunshine, moon. So 
this isn't just good for your for working on your um, amplification. Uh, it's also good for lifting your register. So where we produce sound. Okay, so making that a little bit higher. Okay, so we're going to do a scale. So let's just hum one. So we're going to go. So humming is one of the best ways you can warm up your voice. And it's so easy to do. And when you hum, you can only just hum a note for a minute. If you can aim to get a little tickle between your lips, it means that breath is coming through, which is what you want. Mm, aim for a vibration, just try this now. Mm, okay, so we'll hum that scale. We'll start on lower, actually, we'll start here. Okay, so we're going to go. Mm, ready, we're going to do a scale together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to make it a bit interesting. We can hum the scales all day, but it's a bit boring. So we're going to put words in it. So we're going to say me. I'm going up. We're going to say me ah. So can you say that for me? Me ah. And coming down, we're going to say we ah. Okay. So listen to it. I'll do it first. We're going to say me ah 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 me. And then we switch to we. We are 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 amazing. So I want you to picture that you absolutely love yourself. Me, oh, 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 me. But you also love everybody else. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are amazing. I want you to believe it, okay? Eyebrows um up. I want you to imagine you've all gotten a lovely surprise. Can you all do that? If you can sing from this place, this bright-eyed eyebrows up, Dropped jaw place, you're doing great. Okay, so me already. Me on 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 me. We are 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 amazing. And we're gonna move up. Me on 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 me. We are 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 amazing. Me on me on me on me on me on me. my own voice I'm struggling with that high note but the more you do these exercises the more your register will lift you'll be able to sing higher at the end of this session than you would have been able to at the start without even trying just just by singing the exercises okay so we do then we do things called arpeggios and they go like this so we go so we're just gonna la this la 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 let's do that a few times and try and smile smiling goes a long way when you're singing La 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 again. La 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 la. I want you the same thing, but now I want you to clip it and act like you're cross. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so we're gonna clip it. Ha 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 ha. You're cross, and then you're happy. La 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 la. Cross. Ha 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 ha. La la. Ha, 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 ha,
Okay. When you play with um, emotions in singing, it makes you change your facial expressions without you realizing it, which is also great. Okay, so um, we do a lot of tongue twisters, and you can imagine these work on um, our sound production and our phonation and how we make sound. So we'll start with an easy one, and then I'm going to be a meanie after that and do hard ones. Okay, so super duper double bubble gum. Can you try and say that? Super duper double bubble gum. Again, super duper double bubble gum. Okay, and we're just going to do the one note. Super duper double bubble gum. Super duper double bubble gum. I went wrong there. Super duper double bubble gum. 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 Okay. Now we're going to do the William Tell Overture, and you might say, what's that? But you'll know it when I sing it to you. So it goes like this. Can you just sing that with me on a da da da? Okay, so it's not going to be that easy, of course. We're going to try something today. I'm going to put the words butter beans on it, like this. Butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, beans, beans. Can we try that? Might do it a little bit slower. A little bit mean. Okay, we go. Butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, beans, beans. Heard a bit faster. Butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, beans, beans. I'm not going to just leave it there. So then we do the next bit, which goes. Okay, so try that in a da da da. If you don't get the notes right on this, please don't worry about that. But if you can get the words that I'm about to put in it right, that would be great. We're even working them, okay? So we're not going to do butter beans for the middle bit. We're going to do sloppy soup, like this. Sloppy soup, sloppy soup, sloppy soup, 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 soup. Sloppy soup, sloppy soup, sloppy soup, 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 soup. Can we try that? That's a bit challenging, I know, but let's give it a go. Sloppy soup, sloppy soup, sloppy soup, 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 soup. And then we go back into butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, beans, beans. Sloppy soup, sloppy soup, sloppy soup, 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 sloppy soup, sloppy soup, sloppy soup, 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 soup. Butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, butter beans. Beans, 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 butter beans, butter beans, beans, beans. So don't worry if you struggled a bit with that. That takes a little bit of work over time, but I just wanted to introduce it to you. Okay, so one more thing on the keyboard before we move on to rhythm. Oh my God, the time is flying by. Uh, I might skip that. I'm just thinking of our time. I might get through everything I wanted to. So we're going to move on to a bit of rhythm. So I've been doing various things with this lately. Um, which involves everybody getting household implements and sticks and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to expect you all to run and find those now. But there's stuff we can do without that. Okay, so what I want you to do is we're going to work a bit on sequencing, and this is good for um, 
for things like coordination and multitasking and things like that. Uh, so I'm going to start with some basic rhythm in our bodies with speaking, and we're eventually going to turn it into a little bit of singing. Okay, so you're just going to work with me on this. So can you, and actually it's good to sit with this if you can, okay, because we're going to do a bit of knees clapping at the start. So we're going to go knees, knees, clap, knees, knees, clap, okay, just to start a basic rhythm, and just to feel in our bodies. A bit faster. Clap and knees, knees, clap and knees, knees, clap and knees. And I want you to count. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I want you to switch it to a march, and I'm marching sitting down. Okay, but my feet are moving. I'll probably hear them. Okay, and if you can keep your fists like this, like, um, Slow motion run. Okay, but we're keeping up the same rhythm. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to move to our alphabet, which is a little bit harder to do backwards. So just go with me on this. Ready? A, B, C. And a, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So the G, F, E, D, C, B, A is the one people stumble on. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Again, and G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Back to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Again, and A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So we're going to go back to our numbers and then tag our letters on the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, great. We're going to do it again. And now I really want you to enunciate those words. So we're not just going one, two, three. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See what I'm doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so really enunciate those, right? Let's get our rhythm going again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, keep your rhythm going. We're gonna do the same thing again, but now we're going to clap on a one and a seven. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, keep going with your rhythm. And we're going to do the whole alphabet. Okay, so I'll do the first half and then you can answer me. Ready? And A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Now you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Second half. N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. You go N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. All together at A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Clap, clap. N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Clap, clap again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. We're going to sing it now. Ready? Keep up your rhythm. You're not too tired. We're going to go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And then we're going to go 
going to somewhere over the rainbow, okay? Listen to me, here we go. Somewhere over the rainbow way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Back to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Somewhere over. Somewhere over the rainbow way up high. There's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. I threw a lot at you there, so well done. Normally I wouldn't move through that quickly, but I was conscious of our time, so well done. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's just sing a familiar song. I'm just gonna grab a bit of water. So we're gonna do, um, we do a lot of songs with actions and we play with taking actions and words out and things like that. So one of those we've been doing the last week or two in, our, in my group is, uh, my Bonnie lies over the ocean, which I'm gonna assume everyone knows. So we're gonna sing through it. And this is a waltz rhythm. It's one, two, three, one, two. So try and get a sway going in your body for this, okay? And my bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. We speed it up a bit. So bring back my bonnie to me. Bring back. Oh, bring back, oh, bring back my bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, oh, bring back, oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Okay, so I'm going to work on the assumption that you all know that. I'm going to make it a little bit tricky. Okay, so we're going to work on our B sounds. Bonnie and bring back. They're all the words that begin with B in this, okay? So for each of these, we're going to do an action. So Bonnie is, is a little pretty face. So it's my Bonnie lies over the ocean. My Bonnie lies over the sea. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. And bring back, this might be a bit quick for some of you, so you can do um, your own version if you like. So I'm gonna go bring back. It's like I'm hitting my back. Bring back my Bonnie to me. If you want to just put your hands down there for me. And then we go bring back, oh bring back, oh bring back my bonnie to me. Bring back, bring back, bring back my bonnie to me. Okay, so let's just sing it. Uh, see someone leaving. Let's just uh, sing it with the actions. Ready? My bonnie. One, two. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Bring back. So bring back my bonnie to me. Bring back. Bring back. Oh, bring back. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me, to me. Bring back, oh, bring back, oh, bring back my bonnie to me. So I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. So instead of the words beginning with B, we're going to make a sound. We're going to go, okay? Almost like you're spitting. It's kind of like a P sound. It's better than making a B sound. So we're gonna go, so it's gonna be like this. My lies over the ocean. Okay, so just try and follow me. We'll do it really slowly. One, two. My p lies over the ocean. My p lies over the sea. My p lies over the ocean. Ready? So, p my p to me. And, p p oh, p p oh, p my p to me to me p p oh p p oh p p my p to me okay we do one more time we do a little bit faster and a little bit higher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my bonnie lies over the ocean so we're going to do a bit faster okay and if you can't keep up with this don't worry i know i'm speeding through this one two my p lies over the ocean my p lies over the sea. My 
my p lies over the ocean. So p p my p to me. P p oh p p oh p p my p to me to me. P p oh p p oh p p my p to me. Okay, well done everyone. I could see you do it. I thought that would be brilliant. Uh, oh my God, we're flying through time. I'm going to teach you a quick song, okay, in two minutes. That's what we're going to do. Two minutes, I promise. Uh, I never get through all I want to in my list, so I'm, so I'm doing this in the guitar, as you can see. So this is called Liza Jane. It's very short, and uh, some of you might actually know this. So it goes like this. You're going to repeat after me. I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. You sing that, right? I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. Again, I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. And the next line is, way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Okay, we're gonna put those two lines together. So sing them with me, I know a girl. I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. Way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. And again, I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. Way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. And then the next bit, the last bit is, Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Okay, we're going to sing that together. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. I know a girl. Ready? I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. Way down south. Way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. So what we're going to do is only one simple move. When we do Oh Eliza, I want you to raise your hands as big as you can. I have the guitar in my lap now, so this is really hard to do. Hold on a second now. So we're going to go Oh Eliza, little Liza Jane. And again, Oh Eliza, little Liza Jane. I'm going to go do that without the guitar for a second. So we go from the start. One, two, three, and I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. Wait on south. Way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane. Ready and oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. What I love about this is I can see everyone on the screen doing this. It's really wonderful. Okay, we're going to do one more time before we finish. But I can't put my hands up because I'm playing the guitar. Okay, so you're going to have to put your hands up without me, but I'll warn you. One, two, one, two, three, and I know a girl that you don't know, little Liza Jane. Way down south in Baltimore, little Liza Jane, and hands. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane, brilliant. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane, and again. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. So you can use this class any time you want to do a vocal warm up. Put it on, and if you do the exercises that I was doing earlier um, on the keyboard and that kind of thing, it's just really good for you vocally. Okay, so thank you all so much for taking part. It's been really nice to be here, and um, I'll hand you back to Kieran. I think. Thank you, Kathy.